time for some sports action right here on Fox 40. Bob Moffitt, what do you have for us today? Opportunity is knocking to you for the Giants and the A's. They're in the wild card hunt. They have spots right now if the season ended today, but they'd like to do a little bit better. The A's in Los Angeles, Anaheim to be precise, taking on the Angels. John Lester taking on Jared Weaver in SoCal. Lester acquired in the trade for Yoena Cespedes. Haven't done very well since. Lester pitched well, though, enough to win on a team with any offense. Bottom of the third, man on, and Chris Iannetta gets a hold of one. Coco Crisp into the wall. He caught it, right? Tell me he caught it. I mean, look at the damage he took, the shot he takes. Hits his head on the way down and his shoulder. Here's the replay. Ball's in the glove. Nicely done. And then, oh, no, it did not. Yes, it did. 2 nothing Angels, and that's all Weaver would need. He pitched seven innings, wriggled out of a bases loaded jam, gets his 15th win. A's up. Now four and a half over Detroit in the wild card race. Speaking of wild cards and struggling offense, the Giants hosting the Brew Crew from Milwaukee. Milwaukee leads the tight National League Central by a game and a half. Hunter Pence. Batted fifth in the lineup, went three for four with three ribbies. Not to be outdone, Buster Posey had five hits in five at-bats. Giants win 13-2. to two. They stay a half game up in the wild card. Four back of the Dodgers for the NL West. Dodgers lost in 12 innings. We'll have a full rundown of scores and high school football in the second half of the show. Second half of the season is when the San Francisco 49ers All-Pro Alden Smith will return to the team. He found out today he will miss nine games due to suspension. Number 99 seemingly has had as many brushes with the law in the last two seasons. The suspension for drunk driving and weapons charges. Niners have lost two starting linebackers and now two starting linemen from last year's squad. For the majority, if not all, of the season tough road ahead possibly for the Niners' D. Derek Carr to start the opener for the Oakland Raiders. He sure looked good against Houston, didn't he? Good, tried great. Three touchdowns and four drives against the Seattle Seahawks. Head coach Dennis Allen said just five days ago, Matt Schaub is the guy, but now seems unsure. Schaub has a sore elbow, and Carr looked fantastic here. Two things to note, though, people. Carr, rookie. Also, lots of guys have looked great in the preseason, and yes, I know Richard Sherman was on the field for at least one of those touchdowns, but two words Niners fans will know from last year's preseason. Quincy Patton. For the rest of you saying who's Quincy Patton? Exactly. Coach Allen will name his quarterback Monday. Tony Stewart returned to the track and with a heavy heart apparently qualified 12th for this weekend's race at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Hit and killed 20-year-old Kevin Ward at an upstate New York dirt track three weeks ago. Ward appeared to be trying to confront Stewart after the two cars had tangled and Ward wrecked. Stewart says the accident will affect him forever, but would not take questions after reading a written, written statement to media. NASCAR instituted rules prohibiting drivers from walking on the track after a crash. NASCAR says it ran tests on Stewart to make sure he was fit to race, but would not say what the tests were. Change of plans in Sacramento for the big UFC fight tomorrow night at Sleep Train Arena. The T.J. Dillashaw Renan Barrow Bantamweight Championship fight is now the T.J. Dillashaw Joe Soto Championship fight. We are told Barrow could not make weight and passed out trying. UFC said, no way you're fighting. Soto was on the undercard and will step in without apologies. You know, it's hard to even, it's crazy. It's crazy. It it Dillashaw won the belt three months ago by beating Renan Barrow. High school football is upon us, praise be, and we'll have the full rundown of regional games during tonight's final quarter show. Until then, a little taste, and where better to taste stuff than Stockton. That's where Grandma lived. Del Campo at Edison, and Edison starting off strongly defensively. Here's Edison's Teonte Bell with the interception. Doesn't get much easier than that. Down the right side, he goes 40-yard return. Edison in business. Great field position, takes them to the two-yard line, and then... Hey, wait a minute, Where's, what's that thing I'm supposed to be holding under my arm? That's a ball and that's a fumble. Trayvon Wilson has it. Number eight goes 98. What a change in momentum. Del Campo up early. Second half this time. Del Campo's offense doing the damage. Number four, Ron Braylon White rolls into the end zone. Don't call me, Betty. That's six more on the board. Del Campo would add the two-point conversion. Isaac Cisneros right about here. Del Campo starts off the season right, 36-13. Edison, well, they'll need a couple of light bulbs to turn on for their season. There's a couple, there's a whole lot more where that came from. Check out tonight's final quarter show. We'll be back in a moment.